two products I'm going to be comparing today, one I've already used before, you've seen me talk about this product several times, and that is the Perfect Line Swiss Height Grids and Knots on your lace wig and give a fake scalp appearance. I recently discovered a similar product that just came to the market that's similar to it by Even New York, and this is their Tenant Lace wig knot concealer uh, i will be doing a comparison of the two show you the differences between both and also just to give my thoughts the pros the cons yeah let's get into it if you have not already be sure to go ahead and thumbs up the video be sure to subscribe and once you're subscribed turn on that bell to get notified of my upcoming videos so the look i was going for today was is very natural one of these products helped me get the best fake scalp look we're going to get into that in a second let's talk about this beautiful hair that I will be demonstrating these products on. This hair is from Ronnie Hair. It will be linked below in the description box. This is a beautiful, delicate hairline, brown lace wig. As you can see, it does come with those really small knots and it, the lace is definitely Swiss lace. You can also see that the hairline is very nicely made. This wig is a beautiful brown color and it is a body wave texture. The cap on this wig, of course, is a 13 by six cap and it comes with the adjustable straps in the inside so let's talk about the knots why do you want to cover the knots the knots if you don't know how to bleach them and you want to do something that is simple these products are supposed to offer simplicity so that you can hide not only the knots on the wig but also the lace as far as it looking like a screen porch so this is what the wig look like with no bleach knots at all now, of course, I went on and washed the hair and styled it just so that when I'm ready to apply the products, I can just kind of install the wig without having to go back. Um, a lot of times these products are washable, so you want to make sure if you need to wash your wig prior, you go ahead and do that. Um, that way the product can be fresh into the wig. To achieve the style that you all seen, I did blow dry the hair and then I did curls and added some rollers that that sit for about 15 to 20 minutes so that the curls can be nice and defined I will be sure to put all these products and this wig will be linked below in the description box so be sure to check the links below for every product and this wig now that we are done styling the wig let's get into these products and let's test out both of these so the first product we're going to test is the Even Tinted Lace Wig Knot Concealer. This is what the product looked like. As you can see, it comes in different colors. So I got mine and I believe the light brown. And then at the other end of this tube, it has a brush so that you can blend and smooth the product. So I like that and we're going to go ahead and just jump into this and try it out. So what I'm going to do is roll up the product. And of course, I'm starting on a clean lace. Um, I'm applying the product all over the lace and as I'm applying I do notice this product is very smooth it goes on very smooth and it spreads really well with the little applicator brush um, another thing I did notice is that as I was doing this I can tell I'm using a lot of product um, and in order to cover the knots of course you want a product that is going to be thick enough to get through that lace onto the knots. So I am using a good amount to make sure that when I flip this wig, it should be able to cover those grids and cover those knots. And I'm also just smoothing it at the same time. Now I do feel like if you use this product lightly and, and smooth it, all it's going to really do is probably just tint the lace. So that's why I'm adding a good amount of product so we can see what the result is going to be like. Another thing I love is that it is not transferring onto my skin. So definitely that's a plus. There's no dry time for this product, but let's go ahead and part it so we can see what the results are. Um, so this is what it looked like so far and I'm noticing that I can slightly still see those knots the grids are not really invisible I can still see the lace um so yeah this is a different lighting the product to me kind of just tinted the lace more and I added a lot of product you all seen I added so much product not saying it's not a good product however it just didn't cover the way I thought it would especially with the amount of product that I added so let's test out the perfect line swiss I 
always give my perfect lines twist in the color tan as you can see this is the way the tube look it comes with the product this product is a bit thicker in texture than the previous one that you saw and it comes with the little roll up dial at the bottom so you do have to heat this product to kind of loosen it up before you apply it because it is a thicker consistency so according to the website you can put it in hot water to soften it I like to use a dryer it's just more convenient for me um, so I did wash the lace the other product came off pretty well so now I'm just going to go ahead and apply this over the lace again yes I had to restyle and curl the hair all over but I'm trying to show you guys this demonstration so it was worth it but as you can see this product goes on a lot thicker and I already have used this several times so I know for a fact that because of the consistency of it it's going to really get through and the way it melts you can smooth it and it seeps through that lace over those knots and that's what also causes this to cover not only the knots but the grids now the downfall with this product is of course you have to add some type of heat to get the product to dispense um, that's the only thing that I wish that was different however it does look like scalp once you um, finish applying it the even has more of a makeup consistency whereas this product has more of a wax type of consistency as you can see it does not transfer and of course it's very smooth it does not move at all unless you reheat it and as you can see in the parting um, all you have to do is smooth the product and I love the texture because it definitely has texture that looks like scalp so as you can see it definitely covered those knots here's a comparison to the even and also the perfect line Swiss so you guys can let me know which one you prefer down in the comments section let's get into the wig install so again this wig will be linked below in the description box I absolutely love the style I didn't put on any makeup um, at this part of the video because I just loved how natural everything about this wig was the color the hairline the density and also just adding that perfect line Swiss into that cap it just gave the perfect scalp appearance so I'm just installing very simply I don't need to do anything special because technically everything is already done the lace is absolutely gorgeous on this wig it blends very well now with the hairline I like the hairline it is a delicate hairline however I went back kind of and reshaped it just slightly just because I felt like I wanted it to match my hairline a little bit more and look more soft so yeah <laughs> but I'm using the sensitive spray for this and this gives a daily hold I absolutely love this spray I use it all the time so yeah the install was very simple with this wig it didn't take a lot of work at all I didn't really slow it down here because in my previous videos I've showed you guys detailed steps to take to get your wig to look amazing so I will link some videos in the description box if you need more help with installing your wig you can also be sure to find this wig linked down there and also a discount code and all the products that I use in today's video will be in my amazon storefront link so yeah check those links thank you guys so much for watching Mwah.